how I started the sweet sensation fast food business from zero point, Kainde Kasson. All successful entrepreneurs have one thing in common. They don't quit. They are usually faced with too many setbacks, but rather than let it all hold them down, they find the strength to get up and try one more time. And these cycles occur over and over again till they eventually find success in their hustles. This is the success story of a woman who started side businesses while working full time, experienced failure severally, and eventually built a million dollar business starting from the shade in her vicinity. The early life and education of Kain Dekasson. Kain Dekasson, initially a tomboy, born, was born a twin on the 14th of August. 1961 in Lagos, Nigeria. Her father, Adele K. Benyan Adelaja, was a prominent principal of the Church Missionary Society Grammar School, CMS Grammar School, the oldest secondary grammar schools in Nigeria. Her mother, Omoba Adebayo Evangeline Adelaja, was a proprietress of Eva Adelaja Secondary School located in Lagos, Nigeria. She was also an entrepreneur with several small businesses. Kain Day attended nursery school at the International Women's Society Nursery School in Lagos, while she attended secondary school at the University of Lagos Staff School. She completed her O-levels at Queen's College in Lagos and later acquired a bachelor's degree in accounting from the University of Lagos, Nigeria. She is also a graduate and MBA holder from the Lagos Business School. After graduating from the University of Lagos, Kainde Carson got a job as an accountant at an oil and gas servicing firm. During this time, she was already married to a man named Sayinka Olusoga Kasson and so decided to start a small side business where she sourced fish amongst fishmongers in Lagos. Her little business was called Fishmongers and she ran it for five years before she eventually shut it down because it was bringing in little or no profit and was entirely unsustainable. Small successes After the unfortunate demise of her business, Fishmongers, Kainde Kasson proceeded to try again with another venture. This time around, she started a pastries and cake business since she had a passion for baking from childhood. This business was named City Kate, the City Kate Ras. Now City Kate was performing as she expected and the demand from it was so much that she would wake up as early as 3 a.m. every day to bake and then deliver pastries to all her clients before she headed to work. The task got too demanding and she eventually quit her job to focus on her new hustle full time. As her pastries started to get very popular, she started supplying them to the University of Lagos, which was her largest market, especially Medilang, the University of Lagos Medical School. She was also soon supplying the UTC, Leventis, and eventually Mr. Biggs. In a certain interview, Kainde Kasom said, Mr. Biggs inspired me beyond imagination. It was not just the boost in my sales, but the impressions I had as I watched on a daily basis their sales staff counting away loads of cash. I must confess, I found that cash counting site very inspiring. The cash counting at Mr. Biggs went on the whole day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. My prayer point became, Lord, make our money counting session be as long as Mr. Biggs. Her supply term with Mr. Biggs lasted for about four years and then 
she decided she was going to start up her own fast food restaurant and she named it Sweet Sensation Confectionaries Limited. The start, growth and expansion of Sweet Sensation Without a large capital to start Sweet Sensation, her new entrepreneurial passion, she decided to start up from a shade in her family house in 1994. This shade was located in the backyard of the compound and was their gate man's house. In this shade, she started selling ice cream, Chinese food, chicken and rice. The quick success from this little shade led her to open up a new branch in Lagos and so she promptly set up one in Victoria Island region. To make her fast food brand stand out from the rest, she got creative by improving the ambience and experience in her restaurant and introducing a very diverse menu. By the fourth year of running the sweet sensation fast food business, she was able to secure a loan of 5 million naira from the bank, which she put back into the business repeatedly to continue its growth. Her business today Sweet Sensation today has over 25 retail outlets around Nigeria, employs over 2,000 people and serves a wide array of dishes spanning over 60 different types. Her achievements today Through the decades running Sweet Sensation, Kainde Kassam dedicated herself to supporting various individuals and organizations across Nigeria with help across financial, material, and intellectual barriers. To comfortably achieve this, she set up Sweet Sensation Educational Support Scheme, whose core mission is to provide support to students from low-income families that may be unable to sustain the cost of acquiring their education. Also, reward and recognize students who perform exceptionally in their academics, build their leadership attributes, and improve the creative abilities of students. Her NGO, SSES, focuses on helping students in primary, secondary, and tertiary institutions, especially the physically and mentally challenged. To sum it all up, the success story of Kain de Kasson has shown that resilience in the face of uncertainty can eventually lead to success. While she failed at her first venture, she persisted with other businesses, scaled in her pastries venture, and eventually entered the fast food lane when she spotted a large opportunity. Her ability to act on time with the rise of any opportunity that comes her way is the foundation of her success. Please like, comment, and share our video. Above all, do subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos. Thank you.